Hello. I'm sitting here at my computer and I've got a motion sensor next to me and I want to show you a simple node red process flow. This is what the function is going to do. When I sit down at my desk, I will trigger the motion sensor. The motion sensor will then cause the lights to turn on and then it will start a timer. After a certain period of time, if the motion sensor has not continued to trigger, the lights will turn off. So the function would be if I sit down at my desk, the light comes on. If I leave and I'm gone for a certain period of time, all of the lights in that area will turn off. When I come back and sit down, they'll turn back on. Now while I'm there, theoretically I'll be moving enough to continually trigger the motion sensor and that will continually reset the timer until it expires. So let's do this. What I've got here is the node red screen. And uh, first thing I want to do is look for the event state. So I'm going to bring the state change and I'm going to give it a name here. Let's watch for motion. And the entity is going to be uh, the multi sensor that I've created. And it's a binan binary sensor. And I know it's this one because I made it that one. I want to make sure that the state is on, so it's not going to do anything. It won't pass a message through unless the state is on, which is what it will be when we trip it. And just to, so we can see this, I'm going to put a debug, and I'll draw a line to the debug here. This is the output if the state is true. And then I will get a message here, theoretically, when I trip it. Let's deploy. And then I want to click the info, I'm going to clear out all these. And when I move, yep, I get a message on. Uh, these are other messages that are coming through from other debugs, but we can see that every time I move, I get a message on. So we know that's working. Okay, so let's delete the debug. We know that that works. So the next thing we want to do is check to see if the light's already on. So let's do a uh, current state. We'll drag it from the output if it's true. If the current state, let's see, let's give this a name. Uh, is it, Are the lights on? Now there's multiple lights in this room and I'll probably want them all to come on, but I can use a single uh, one of those lights to determine whether or not the state is true here. So let's do um, light, what do we have? Uh, workshop, workshop desk lamp. Let's do that. If the state is on, okay, then if it's true, we go this direction. If it's false, we go this direction. So if the if it's on, we don't want to do anything uh, except to reset the timer. If it's off, we want to turn the light on. So we'll add a. Uh, service call. And I'm going to drag the, if the state is false, if the light is off, come down here. Let's give this one a name. I'm just double clicking that. Uh, we'll call this um, turn on lights. And let's see. And we'll do go switch turn on oh there this keyboard's terrible oh, let's search by desk lamp here we go switch desk lamp turn on the desk lamp okay and we also want to do another service call I believe I'm not sure if you have to separate these or not but let's do turn on we'll change that to turn on desk lamp and then this will be turn on all other lights and we can do light and this will be turn on and workshop Oh, look, we've got light workshop desk lamp. Okay. So I've got the desk lamp on two different controls. One is a switch and one is a light. 
So let's go back here and create this service call again. And we'll go for write, turn on, workshop, and desk lamp. And let's see, is there anything else in here I want to have turned on? No, that's good. So we'll click done and give it a name. Turn on lights. Okay. And uh, and then what we want is a timer. So I'm going to do a TIM timer, stop timer, and we'll do we'll feed into that from there. And we also want to feed into it from are the lights on? Yes. So if they're on, great. Don't turn them on again. We don't need to worry about that. They're already on. But definitely start the timer again. And let's do five minutes. So now what will happen is when motion is tripped, if the lights are on, the timer will be restarted. Timer restarts anytime it gets a new message. Once the timer expires, then we will do a, I will copy and paste this. And once it expires, original payload comes out and we turn off the lights. Okay. And let's see, is our logic right? Watch for motion. Are the lights on? No. Turn the lights on, start the timer, wait for the timer to end, then turn off the lights. Are the lights on? Yes. Don't turn the lights on. They're already on. Start the timer again, and then when it expires, turn off the lights. That is the simplicity of a node red flow. And this one uh, will work. So, uh, Give it a shot and modify it the way you want.